Coach Ferentz talked last week about you maybe reading things faster, just the game. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that's coming for you? Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, there's always room to improve on on, uh, in the mental aspect of the game. So just being able to continue to, to make quicker decisions and uh, you know take care of the ball. Do you think you need to be more mobile in the pocket? Is that something you're working on, maybe running more? Yeah, I think just being able to realize those opportunities when when there's nobody open instead of you know throwing the ball away, try to try to get a couple yards if possible. So um, you know it's it's kind of hard to simulate in practice, sure. but um, you know we, we do our best to to make the most of those opportunities so far. You mentioned the year two, like uh, be more familiar with the offense. Can you give us an example of what what's coming easier now that's year two of the Brown Ferentz offense? And you don't have to learn the language. So yeah. Oh yeah, I mean exactly what you just said. You know, you don't have to have to relearn uh, a language or uh, um, you know learn something new. So you know it's it's all familiar stuff. So you know the, the install has has been uh, you know a lot easier for for a lot of guys and um, you know just continue to understand the concepts of. of why we're doing what we're doing it has come a lot easier too. So, how, you talk about the concepts, you guys. Are, uh, how do those kind of overlap, <laughs> and how does everybody have to be sewn into that for that to work? The concept. Thing? Yeah, no. All of our 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 plays and our concepts, you know, they rely on on everybody to do their job. So, you know, everything's intertwined, whether it be a receiver or, or a, you know the offensive line or the quarterback or the running back. So everybody needs to be doing their job at this at the same time for us to be successful. Is there ever any in your in your? Uh, do you ever feel like you do you feel like you're too limited in what you can do with that, or do you feel like there's enough poetic license there for you to make plays? They give us a lot of freedom. Um, yeah. You know, as long as it's within confines of of what we want to right, do. Right. Um, so I mean, there's plenty of opportunity for us to to uh, you know do what we think it based on what we see on the field is. Uh, what will be most successful? So they give us some freedom in that in that regards. So are things moving qu- faster for you guys with Nate being in his second year? You guys all having experience? Does, does this feel like the the game is is quicker for you guys? Reads you know, things like that? I, I I feel like things are quicker now. Nate is um, our second year starter, so that makes things a lot easier. But also having a whole year under a, under a system, under a system of a new system that we put in and uh, everybody being able to, you know, have a, have a little bit of time under their belt and then also makes it easier to teach the younger guys because, you know, the older guys have a year and have able to teach it um, because we know it, we know it pretty well. So um, those two combined, I feel like, are, are very helpful and help them move things on faster. And, and uh, like last year during this time, we were still – we were just like learning the basic language of the offense, so um, I feel like it's definitely progressing a lot faster than now that it's uh, like this. So, my biggest thing was that I wanted to, because I knew I knew I needed to get bigger. I knew I needed to keep gaining weight. Um, you know, it's a it's a process though, and I didn't want to put too much weight on without you know, like losing speed or different things like that. So. Um, all all the credit goes to our strength program with you know Coach Doyle and and uh, the stuff that he puts us it through. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, I was able to put some good weight on and um, you, know, thing, you know, things are going good as, as far as that. So um, I just know that I have to keep working through that though. How involved is it that playing in the center position in terms of what you need to know and what you have to communicate? Uh, well, you gotta basically know what everybody has to do on the line, uh, including yourself. So um, that that's a big adjustment. But also knowing what the defense is lined up in, um, based on my call, it'll tell everybody else what they're gonna have to do. So if I miss that call, then everybody else misses the call. So really, it's my fault that five guys messed up. So I think naturally that's what the biggest adjustment is: making sure I know everything, and then the next step from there is trying to see how the linebackers are lined up to see if they're blitzing or uh, see if there's rotation in the uh, secondary backfield. So um, just trying to be so the, more observant. There is a lot yeah, going on. So A little bit because as a guard I knew what I was doing and that, you know, but James is smart and James would always like, you know, he'd make sure we were all on top of it. So I think just taking that initiative and making sure that, you know, if, you know, if Tristan messes up and goes the wrong guy, like that's on me. That's not on him. So I think, um, yeah, just taking leadership and Make sure you know what you're doing before you try to tell other people what they're doing. What's your comfort level now? I mean, did you get a lot of reps last year at center? Uh, I got some. Uh, 
my comfort level is pretty high just because I know the offense now this is my fifth right. year. So, I mean, I know all the calls and I'm confident in myself. But uh, just snapping and stepping, I would say, is different. And um, having to feel the guy right on top of you is different. You can basically feel his breath on your neck you know, when you're down snapping it. So, um, it's pretty high. It, it helped um, getting snaps last year and playing that game, obviously, and learning from that. So, that was a big help for me and kind of helped me transition this uh, spring. Thanks, Kate. Look out there. Uh, does it look like you guys are inexperienced when you're practicing? I mean, what's um, the level you guys are at right now, do you feel? I mean, from the first three practices, obviously, we're not exactly where we need to be as in uh, four weeks left of spring ball alone. Um, there's a lot of room to improve in myself as well as others. Um, but, no, I mean, we're just coming to work every day and trying to take the little things that we don't maybe see, like the film we watched today, um, trying to take those little things and, and move it in the next practice. Okay, maybe I didn't make that mistake that time, or I didn't, I didn't blow that coverage, or whatever it may be. Um, just trying to do those little things each, each day and, and improve that way rather than looking at it, you know, in the big picture. Right. What do. So that's kind of how I've, I've attacked it. So. Are you pretty well-rounded? Skill set wise, I mean, it takes a yeah. you know the Leo spot obviously sure. takes a certain skill set, and you had the ability to play right, that. Yeah. Do you feel like you're a pretty well-rounded I linebacker? Mean, I'm not gonna try to brag. Or anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like I have you know the speed that it takes to play you know some outside position or the strength to play on the inside, um, you know, hand placement, Inher inherited leverage. We talked about Joe's a little bit shorter than me. <laughs> right. and, um, I'm a little bit taller, but you know, you have to get a little more bend, I guess, than, mm -hmm. than some of the guys. But yeah, no, I, I think I can play inside or outside. Um, you know, wherever the coach is going to put me, I swear, I'm going to be confident in playing um, for the, what's our best for our defense. So. Have they kept you guys kind of at certain spots, or, or are you guys moving around a lot? I mean, we've been kind of a mixed bag. Uh, we kind of been just pushing guys around, kind of seeing what fits best. Um, you know, to what exactly we'll be at this point. It's, it's very hard to tell, but. Yeah. But yeah, we, I mean, we're learning each position. You know, it's like I said, a lot of mentally um, that we're trying to learn, especially in spring ball. But um, right now, yeah, we're just trying to be well-rounded, I guess, as a player. What kind of growth have you seen in, in AJ Epinesa from when he arrived, I guess, in June to, to where he is now? Yeah, um, I think throughout the season last year, he, he really grew a lot as a player. Um, you know, just focusing on details and, and technique and learning the defense. That's that's how I would assume I didn't have to do it. But you know, being thrown in the fire, you know, straight out of high school, is something that's really tough. And you know, that's something that he's just continued to develop on and, and going through spring. I, I'm looking forward to, to seeing how he keeps improving, keeps stacking. And, how it helps our defensive line. As a senior, do you have to, I don't want to say keep reminding people of that, but is that kind of responsibility with the youth at linebacker, cornerback, things like that, to kind of keep reminding the young guys, hey, we got to we gotta play at this tempo. we got to keep. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, you're getting back in spring, you haven't put a helmet on in a while. I think it kind of starts with yourself. And I know, you know, watching myself on tape the last few practices, I'm kind of thinking this week, I got I to gotta pick it up a notch, you know, the tempo line. I'm playing and I think you know that's how a lot of the older guys the seniors or experienced guys are kind of thinking the same thing that you know we have to get out and we have to have our tempo absolute you know as high as we can go so that you know that's the standard going forward for everybody else. I think last year there were times where we were good especially early in the year and I think there were times where we weren't good. Um, I think consistency is a big word for us. Um, we need to put those days together every day. Um, it can't just be show up on this day you know this game it needs to be every game every day so that's what we're aiming for right now. Do you see that happening? Yeah absolutely I mean so far I think there's a lot of positive things in spring. Um, younger guys stepping up Brandon and Amir. Max Cooper's doing a good job um, making strides every day. I think they all feel a lot more comfortable and they're they're playing they're playing faster they're playing with clear minds. So. Yeah, I feel you know I feel more comfortable in my role. Um, coming in this spring, I feel like you know I got to be a leader. And last you know last spring this time I was just coming into the program. Uh, so it's it's kind of you know it's a lot different. Um, right. Yeah. I, I feel like I need to be the guy in the room who they can look to for leadership for guidance. Um, and I'm comfortable with that role. And that's what I want to do.